Hey guys, um, I want to show you why I prefer um, rice over rice and ABG over yeast and charcoal. Alright, we yeast and charcoal. Alright, well, this this one right here was getting kind of booming a little bit, somewhat. And it's just an ABG mix. But um, I was using yeast in there, and then I put some over here. Like it was sort of booming, and I kind of put half of them over into this one. But as you can see, it never really recovered. And I've been using yeast, but it just, I don't know, just doesn't, hasn't been taken off. Yet over here, which is ironic, I only put half of what was in the other one. And it's doing fairly well. Okay, well, some of you might say, like, why not rice and charcoal? Well, this was an experiment culture. Hang on a second. I just now started putting yeast in here, like, just now, tonight. You can't really see too much black stuff left over. You kind of see a little... But whenever, um, whenever you put rice on the charcoal, the rice sucks up all the moisture out of the charcoal, and it gets all black, and it gets real nasty. And as you can see, this is a really small culture. Like, it's, like, really small. And I've had this going for a couple months, and they just never really took off at all. And I really think it's due to the rice, like, mixing with the charcoal. Okay, well, this right here is the reason why I'm going to be converting all these to rice and ABG. Well, it's not going to be full ABG. I'm going to make a similar mixture. This is my rice and ABG culture. Like, it's really taken off. It didn't start taking off like this until I started using the rice. Like once I started using the rice, it just started taking off. Here's some rice that's broken down. You can see the now it's turning brown. Let's see some of the spring tails. And when I like one one of the great things about this is is you don't have so many like springtails drowning. Oh. Like if you look here, you've got springtails pretty much I mean they do float, but I guarantee if they spend a long enough time in the water they're not gonna make it. But yeah. Some of those guys aren't even moving. But here you don't have any like you don't have any parts where they're like drowning it's completely saturated they can get down to the water so right there they can get right down to the water and they just crawl right back out unlike the charcoal the charcoal method they get into the water and they can't get out and they're just fighting forever Okay, well, I stacked up a bunch of charcoal over here, kind of give it a bunch of crevices and stuff, and they get down in there. They really like it. Okay, so I'm going to tip, tip two corners, give you an idea of how much is here. This is just a corner. Yeah, looks like they they've moved because I've done this once I'm trying to record it once already alright just 
try the opposite corner. It takes a long time for the water to get down there. So you can see that's just one corner. Like I seriously recommend the rice and the ABG. Like that's not yeast, that's nothing but springtails. Let me show you what I do with the rice. Okay, so I put the grains of rice in there. I take my water bottle and I give it a squeeze. And just let the water just drip on the rice and get it wet. And then it just begins to break down. And they love it. I put it in various places. Because I've noticed when you really... I get it to all of the little guys too. And this is my only culture that actually has... Like ones of all different size. It's like the small ones never really make it in the other cultures except for a few. So... Yeah, I'm switching all of my cultures to rice and ABG. And I know a lot of people are dead set on um, the old method of rice and yeast, but I mean, as you can see, like, it, it gets your cultures to be doing pretty good. Alright, well, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Catch you guys later.